five. This is Carl from uh, Lincolnshire Bushcraft and Survival Camp. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do an alpine butterfly. It has a, a few purposes. One is to isolate a damaged rope, part of the damaged rope if you was to be climbing on the rope. Uh, another one is you can have it as a ri on your ridge line, so you could iron your bag off the ground, and you can also do multiple um, <clears throat> multiple uh, butterfly knots on the rope, and you can turn it into a uh, a ladder. So I'll show you how to do the alpine butterfly. It's pretty easy. So you take your rope. Um, you have a loop, you do a twist, the second twist, and through the tails of the rope, you bend the loop over, and it looks like that. And the bottom of the loop, you have to push through the tails and up through this hole that you've made, like so. Grab that loop that you've made, hold your tails and pull your tails together. Then that is an alpine butterfly knot. As you can see, if I take, just for instance, my keys, if you had, you could just hang on, if you had a ridge ridge line you could just hang stuff off it um, and also like I said if you was a climber and you was climbing anywhere and your rope was damaged and you was worried that it wasn't going to take your your weight if you can see on the end there's a bit of a damage there on the rope so you can isolate that damage part in that loop through the alpine butterfly and you can put your pull pull as hard as you like and the strength still runs through and isolates that damage so you know that you can still climb on that rope and it not snap so that's the alpine butterfly I'll show you once again and it's pretty easy it don't matter how much, how much pressure you put on it it's still simple to release so you make a loop and you make a twist once twist twice and through your two tails you bend the loop over push through underneath and through the hole pull the loop through and then pull the two tails and that is how to do an alpine butterfly.